divers behind the lines. In three, two, one, go! And we're off for match number 88. Blue Alliance starting strong with three game pieces scored in the high nodes. Over on red, they've got two scored. 1987 going back for another. Same with their partner, Prepatech Botbusters. Red Alliance working on getting a robot engaged. Blue already had one. That autonomous performance is going to have Red leading Blue by seven points now that we're in our teleoperated period. 1987, that's Bronco Bot snatching a cone from their human player substation portal as they make their way across the field. They're trying to help the Red Alliance maintain their lead. They scored a cone on a top node. Their partner, Hemlock's Gray Matter, doing the exact same thing. This Red Alliance has been good so far in this match at running cycles and not getting in each other's way too much. That's going to be crucial as there is limited space on the field. Over on Blue, who is trying to catch up, now only now up by five points with a minute and a half remaining. 234, one of our host teams scoring a link and a cone up on a top node. That's going to fill up the top row for the Blue Alliance and also earn them a link. They now only need three more in order to get their sustainability bonus. With that last placement by Hemlock's Grove, it also looks like we've now gotten the cooperation bonus. So now each alliance only needs five total links in order to get their sustainability bonus ranking point. We all know with alliance selections coming up, that's crucial. 1987 Bronco Bots is on defensive duty for the Red Alliance. They're working on trying to slow down Prepa Tech and Bronco Bots from scoring as fast as possible. Excuse me, Blaze and Cyber Blue. 1987 trying to hang out in the middle of the field, slow down the Blue Bots as they run cycles. 41-43 being thwarted by some defense as they were trying to pick up a cone in the center of the field. 35 seconds remaining. Red has now pulled ahead. They're up by nine points. We're seeing some counting now from uh, not a, pin a pinning foul, but it could have been if they had pinned for too long. Bronco Bots is not playing around with their defense, and it has been helping slow down the blue team while their partners pull ahead. This strategy is working so far for Red. Ten seconds left, though. This end game is clutch. 1987 headed over to balance with Hemlock's Grove. Blue Alliance teams also lining up for a triple balance. Red's got it. Blue's got it right as time runs out. We've got our scores for match 88, and it's the Red Alliance with a score of 177 to Blues, 166. Unicorn match, if that really means unicorn anymore at this point. All six possible ranking points were earned during that last match. Red got four. That's going to rise them all in the rankings. Unfortunately for Blue, their two ranking points were not enough to keep their positions in the rankings. It's actually going to bring down Mars Wars now in the number nine spot. They've been knocked out of the top eight. Congratulations to our three winning Red Alliance teams.